I'm finally back in my new kitchen. Um, I've got a new house, new job, uh, so I will actually be able to begin posting semi-regularly again with some new content here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe for that. Uh, I also do have live streaming on Twitch as well as some short form videos on my new TikTok channel, so go find me there. Uh, I'm basically on every social media and content platform under the deglutenizer. So for today, I'm going to start off with something really simple. Uh, homemade Kahlua plus the recipe for the vanilla sugar that I use to make it. Alright, for my Kahlua, brewing the coffee is going to take the longest, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and get that started. I'm using Javalia French Roast. Um, for homemade Kahlua, I do like using a little bit nicer brand of coffee rather than like Maxwell House or Folgers or something. Um, Javalia, Lavazza, um, you know, one of the, the higher end brands. Uh, usually they're on sale at the store fairly regularly, so I just stock up when it's on sale. Um, so, I'm going to eyeball it, and I do want to make it kind of strong. And for Kahlua, I do prefer a dark roast, like, say, a French roast or other specialty roast. And I do already have my machine here filled with filtered water. Remember that, um... Anything that uses water as an ingredient, you want to use the best quality water possible. If your local tap water is funky, your food or beverages will be funky. While my coffee brews, I'm going to go ahead and get started making my vanilla sugar. So I've got one whole vanilla bean here. Now what I want to do is go ahead and fill the jar about half full with sugar. So, what I do is I start towards the middle and use the tip of my blade to trace the shape of the bean, because I'm sure you noticed it curves a little. And then I turn it. and split it down in the other direction. Mila. So then what I'm going to do is once again, starting at the middle, I'm going to use the spine of the knife and scrape to get the pulp and beans out of the pod. I'm going to start from the other direction and scrape. Now I'm going to take the actual pod, chuck that in there too. My split pod, take the back of the knife, spread the sides of the pod out, and drag. Scrape to add to the side of the jar. And do the same thing on the other side. And then add the actual pod. So, sugar is hydrophilic. The pulp that the beans are in will dry out in the sugar and release the beans so that it becomes nice and speckled over the course of probably about a week. And what I'll do is I'll grab a spoon and find any pulpy bits kind of mash them against the side of the jar to begin releasing the beans from the pulp. See, just like that. So now what I'm going to do 
I just go ahead and fill up the jar the rest of the way with plain sugar. Leave just enough headspace at the top to be able to shake. Here we go. And then what I want to do with this is each day for about a week, I want to just walk by and give it a shake when I think about it. And by the end of the week, it'll be pretty well distributed. So basically the aging process happens and you'll notice it by smell. So here is my current batch of vanilla sugar that I've had sitting around. Um, I'll use some of this for the Kahlua that I'm making today, which is why I was like, I should show them how to make this vanilla sugar. So we're getting a twofer between my Kahlua recipe and my vanilla sugar recipe. All right, so I actually want to concentrate my coffee. So what I'm gonna do is reduce it down on the stove top. There we go, so I've got two cups and three cups total. To that, I want to add half a cup of vanilla sugar. There we go. So we'll come back when this is ready. As you can see, my coffee and sugar mixture has reduced. Um, I'm going to remove it from the hot burner to cool off a bit before I put it into my mason jar. And I'm gonna let it cool all the way to room temperature before adding my rum. And then Black Magic is my favorite black spiced rum to use for homemade Kahlua. Uh, it's pretty cheap, similar to Kraken, but a much nicer price tag. Then I'm gonna take a damp paper towel and run it around the rim of my jar to get any of that sugar off of there so that way it does not glue the lid to the jar. And I want to pop on my lid, twist tightly to secure, and this should go in the fridge for at least a day, uh, but preferably a full week to age before consuming. Uh, but honestly, tomorrow night I'm going to fix a white Russian and enjoy it after work. Hey guys, I am back. It has been a long enough day at work where I want a white Russian. So, I have here a double rocks glass. So, glass, check. Now, traditional white Russians are approximately a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one, or even have double vodka. Um, I am actually not the biggest vodka fan, so what I do is I use double Kahlua, homemade, of course. You can use store-bought Kahlua, but, you know, then what's the point of this video? And now for the hard part. Pouring out of a wide mouth jar into a jigger. Normally I eyeball it, but uh, I have an audience, so I'm going to try and do this the right way. Um, so, start off with two ounces of homemade Kahlua. Please don't spill, please don't spill, please don't spill, please don't spill. And go fast. Okay, that wasn't the worst. So, two ounces homemade Kahlua. One ounce of vodka. Use a big ice cube. If I can get it out of the tray. If I can get it out of the tray. If I can get it out of the... Cream. If you wanted it even thicker, you could use heavy whipping cream, which has a higher fat content. And pour it around. That's still really heavy on the vodka, which again, I'm not a fan. So you know what? I'm going to say 
screw the recipe. There we go. Much better. So, my Kahlua is still very coffee forward. It's not super sweet. And, um, it balances very nicely with the vodka and the cream. Once you completely obliterate any recipe you might have been trying to follow, and just go with your heart. That is how you make my homemade vanilla sugar, which is fantastic not just in homemade Kahlua, uh, but also whenever you decide to make an iced coffee. Um, sweeten it with some of the vanilla sugar and stir the bejeebus out of it before you add your ice so that it actually dissolves. Uh, it's also great in hot chocolate. It's great for uh, adding those little black speckles and some sweetness to any homemade whipped cream that you're ever going to use. Uh, this stuff is magical uh, and it is great to just keep on hand. Homemade Kahlua. Um, fantastic. So much better than store-bought. You just, you cannot go wrong with the real stuff. For my next video, I will be using my homemade Kahlua to make semi-homemade tiramisu. I say semi-homemade because I'm using the Char brand uh, store-bought lady fingers. I refuse... No, I even have a personal grudge against piping in baking. Not, not the other kind of piping. I have no problem with that. Uh, but yes. Uh, with baking, I am personally offended by the idea of so much product being stuck in the inside of the piping bag where it can never be retrieved again. Uh, so, I will not now, and probably not anytime soon, ever be making my own lady fingers from scratch. Uh, but I will be making tiramisu with some store-bought lady fingers and my homemade Kahlua. Uh, if you guys liked this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications, and don't forget to follow me on pretty much every other social media platform as the Deglutinizer, including my new TikTok channel and for live streams on weekends on Twitch. Alright guys, see you around, and catch you up the next one.